Hey guys, welcome back to the print house. Uh, just a quick video. I, w I had a couple comments on my channel. Well, one specifically, and the guy was, uh, he was kind of, I wouldn't say rude, but he was kind of like uh, snarky in a way that he basically made a comment on one of my videos. Actually, he made a comment on two of my videos, the same comment. He just copied it. And he said that I have too much equipment. That's what he told me. Uh, and I think what, what he was saying is that you don't need all everything that I have. So he went on to say that he outsources most of what I have. So I went back and forth a couple of times and basically turns out, he says, you're, you're basically doing all my work. So I, I get his point. Um, but see, to me, it's not about all this equipment. You know, it's not just about having equipment. I'm always been the type of person where I want to do everything myself as much as I can. Anyways, um, I haven't done a whole lot of outsourcing yet. I mean, I'm still small. I'm on a level of way down here when some people are way up here. I mean, you know, I'm not, I, I have a monthly income, a monthly income intake of only like, what is it? I don't even know, 5,000, 6,000 or whatever it is. So I'm like way down here and, you know, other people are up here, but, but I'm not a, I'm not a, a business, you know, per se. I'm not, I don't, I'm not retail. I'm working out in my basement. I'm a, I'm a hustler. That's basically what I am. So my response to that, you know, I didn't even go into detail with him. I have all this equipment, everything that you see on my channel, I have, because you know what? I don't have a set schedule. I have a full-time job. Um, I am working from home for my full-time job. I'm, I'm a graphic designer for a commercial sign company during the day. But the thing is, I, I have all my equipment because I can't just outsource stuff all the time. I'm doing stuff last minute a lot of times, especially for the printer now um, or laser. I do a lot of laser stuff that's, you know, last minute. People contact me like, hey, I need this tomorrow. I couldn't outsource. You can't outsource that stuff. These printers behind me, these DTGs, these Rollins, you know, that's irrelevant because I mostly that stuff has been for stuff for the house. I've done a lot of towels and uh, coaster stuff like that, but most of that's for us. You know, it's not really for, you know, uh, jobs. So, um, so yeah, I mean, the, the purpose of me having as much equipment as I do, and, and honestly, I don't think I have that much. I have a few label printers. I have large format. I have a couple cutters. I have a laser. I have CNC. I mean, is that really too much? I mean, I don't, I don't consider that too much. I just feel like that. I just have enough what I need. Um, I had, I only had one heat press for a long time and I got that new stalls fusion IQ just because I was due for an upgrade. <laughs> the other one was too small and I'm not even, I have I'm not even using the other one. It's not even set up. I was going to set it up for DTF, uh, melting of the adhesive, the adhesive, but I'm holding off on DTF altogether. I mean, um, what I am going to buy is a DTG printer that does white. It's, it's not, I'm not going to buy one of those $18,000 Epsons or those uh, Omni prints or whatever, but um, I am going to get a DT uh, G printer soon. It'll, it'll be coming. And that's mostly for personal stuff. Cause I know they're, um, they're, they're, they're slow. Um, they require maintenance. Um, if you get the right one, you know, there's some things to look out for like a wet cap station. There's, there's things that you can look out for that you can keep, um, you know, daily things just to have it. It's just going to be for me mostly and for my family. Um, so no, I mean, you know, my comment, the purpose of the video is just to reiterate what we talked about, about all my equipment. And personally, do you guys think I have too much equipment? I mean, I, I really don't. I, I, you know, it's not about how much I can get, how much equipment, but I, like I was saying, I have, a, I don't have a set schedule being down here in the shop. Like most people do that run a business out of here. I'm, I'm working 15, 20, an hour at a time with, you know, time in between. I, I would, I love to come down 11, 12 o'clock at night, midnight and just run a few jobs because then it saves me for the next day. I couldn't just outsource that. And I mean, I need stuff right away, but I like the, you know, the convenience of just coming down to my basement and running and getting jobs done that I last minute, or just, just because I'm bored, it's a hobby it keeps me in. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, I love that, you know, but tell me that I have too much equipment and, you know, I don't need it all. I mean, that's, you know, Hey, that's their situation. Um, maybe he's a big business and he outsources and that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. But you know, I don't I personally, I don't, I like to do as much as possible that, you know, in house that I can just because I like having full control. Um, especially with my printing. I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with printing, but if you do a lot of printing, you can have issues with, 
colors if you know people are getting the right colors done for you so i uh i like to do test prints and stuff like that so you know just the convenience of having everything in house like i said i could just walk down so uh i digress i'm i'm just going on here so um but yeah i i have a couple of new videos coming um i did a video with the uh, roland with some signage some printing some wood signs pretty cool um stuff that you could normally do because you know like to be honest with you you could do a lot of the, the textile stuff that you would sub you could sublimate a lot of the same stuff you know uh it, what these are good over this over um subbing is the fact that these can do cotton um sublimation obviously doesn't cotton so unless there's some new stuff i don't know but um that was the advantage of that but you know if you're doing like coasters and textiles woods um different things like that then you know you could still sublimate those items also so um and you could you could print on mouse pads on here too so i mean it, that's kind of neat to do um so i have that i'm going to upload that video i i I've been I'm not really editing the videos. I, I'm trying to just make them a little bit less boring. I mean, I mean, I don't know how to do that. I'm not this big video influencer, you know. I just like to showcase the equipment to help others who may be looking or have the same equipment that need help. So, and then and offer ideas on stuff to make. Um, I know I haven't done a whole lot of t-shirt stuff uh, video-wise, but I really haven't really. Been, I've done a lot of shirts, but I haven't really found the urge to just like video myself doing the shirts I and mean, personally i don't like being in the video I'm not that photogenic so um and of course i need you know i need to shave more so um anyways i got that and i got some more videos coming of laser cutting and um etching so um look out for that and you know like i said i just wanted to do a video on you know explaining why i have all the equipment that i have and why to me for me in my situation it's beneficial to me so all right. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification and uh, look out for those new videos coming. Thanks, guys. And, and by the way, I also wanted to thank everybody. We've had over 620 subscribers. That's awesome. I want to keep growing. Um, I, you know, I, I just feel like that, you know, if I'm if I need to put other information out there that you're looking for or if you want to see other information with equipment that I have, reach out to me. My email's in the about page on my on my youtube channel and uh, i'll be uh, all for you know doing content that you know is catered to you so hey thanks a lot hit that notification bye uh, guys bye